So far we have discussed about four countries in know the country series in our channel. Let's continue our discussion on the next country in this list. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon if you haven't done already so that you won't miss more interesting videos in the future. Without any further delay, let's start today's episode. Hello aspiring sarvagnanis. Welcome to my channel. This video explains about the basic details about the fifth country in this series, Angola. Angola is officially known as the Republic of Angola. It is located on the western Atlantic coast of Central Africa. The boundaries are Democratic Republic of the Congo to the north, Zambia to the east, Namibia to the south and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. The north of the country has a hot and humid tropical climate with high rainfall. Going south, the climate becomes drier until it becomes desert in the far south towards the border with Namibia. The central highland region has temperate tropical climate with average temperatures of the order of 19 degrees centigrade and rainy season between October and March. Angola is divided into 18 provinces. These 18 provinces are further divided into 163 municipalities, which are further divided into 618 communes. It is the seventh largest country in Africa with an area of 1,246,700 square kilometers. As of today, the current population is estimated to be just above 33.1 million, which constitutes 0.42% of the total world population. It ranks number 44 in the list of countries by population. The population density in Angola is 26 persons per square kilometer. About 66.7% of their population is urban. It is also one of the youngest countries in the world. About 70% of their population is below the age of 24. The male to female ratio is approximately 0.95. It is one of the few countries where the women outnumber the men. The Portuguese first landed in Angola in 1482 and gradually took control of the coastal area by a series of treaties and wars throughout the 16th century. The Angolan War of Independence for the country's independence started in 1961. Finally, Portugal granted Angola independence on November 11, 1975 at a time when multiple Angolan nationalist forces were fighting among themselves to establish control over the newly liberated state. Angola changed from a one-party Marxist-Leninist system ruled by the Popular Movement for the Liberation of Angola MPLA, which is in place since independence in 1975 to a multi-party democracy based on a new constitution adopted in 1992. That same year, the first parliamentary and presidential elections were held. The MPLA won an absolute majority in the parliamentary elections. Later, a new constitution was adopted in 2010 and the politics of Angola takes place in a framework of a presidential republic, whereby the president of Angola is both the head of state and the head of government and of a multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in the president, the government and parliament. It is estimated that only about 70% of the population is literate in Angola. As of 2018, the average life expectancy at birth is estimated to be around 61 years. Due to the widespread poverty, civil violence, food shortages, political unrest and lack of adequate medical services, the life expectancy in Angola is very less and placed it in top 15 countries with lowest average life expectancy. Christianity is the majority religion in Angola with approximately 80% of their population practicing it. Around 41.1% are Roman Catholics and 38.1% are Protestants. Portuguese is the official language of Angola. African languages like Ambundu, Kimbundu, Kikongo and Bantu are also spoken by a vast majority of their population. According to the World Bank, the gross domestic product in Angola was approximately 94.6 billion US dollars in 2019, which represents 0.11% of the total world economy. The Angolan Kwanzaa is the currency used in Angola since 1999. As of today, one Angolan Kwanzaa equals 0.0015 United States dollar. The main exports are crude oil, diamonds, refined petroleum products, coffee, sisal, fish and fish products, timber and cotton mainly to China, India and the United States. The main imports are machinery and electrical equipment, vehicles and spare parts, medicines, food, textiles and military goods from Portugal, China, United States, South Africa, Brazil and the United Kingdom. Angola is one of the poorest countries in the world. Its poverty rate stands at 41%, meaning that about 4 out of 10 Angolans earn less than 12,181 Kwanzas, which is 21 US dollars per month. 
The poverty rate is 57.2% in the rural areas and 29.8% in the urban areas. The national flag of Angola came into use when Angola gained independence on November 11, 1975. It is split horizontally into an upper red half and a lower black half with an emblem resting at the center. The emblem features a yellow half gear wheel crossed by a machete and crowned with a star. Giant sable antelope, which is a unique species of antelopes, is considered as the national animal of Angola. It was discovered in 2014 after it was thought to be extinct. A small native beautiful bird, red-crested turaco, is considered as its national bird. Angola observes West African time all year, which is one hour ahead of the Greenwich Mean Time GMT plus one. There are no daylight saving time clock changes. Luanda is the capital and the largest city in Angola. It is Angola's administrative center, its chief seaport and also the capital of the Luanda province. Luanda and its metropolitan area is the most populous Portuguese-speaking capital city in the world, with over 8.3 million inhabitants in 2020. Lubango, Huambo, Benguela and Cabinda are the other major cities in this country. Must-see places in this country include Kalandula Falls, which are the largest waterfalls by volume in Africa, Iona National Park, which is the largest national park in Angola, containing the best species of plants and animals, and Kwisama National Park, which boasts a wide range of flora and fauna and is closer to its capital city, Luanda. Most popular food in Angola include Funge, which is a type of cassava flour porridge, Kabidela, which is a dish made with poultry or rabbit cooked in its own blood. Kalulu, which is a dried fish cooked with vegetables, red palm oil and spices. Muamba di Galina, which is a slow cooked chicken with okra, squash and palm tree fruit paste. Chikwanga, which is a bread made from manioc flour served in a wrap of banana leaves. And Gafanhotos di Palmera, which are toasted grasshoppers from a palm tree. Football is the most popular sport in this country. Other popular sports in Angola include basketball and handball. And this concludes our discussion on Angola, which is the fifth country in this series. How did you guys like it? Do you want me to add any more details about a country in my next videos? Let me know in the comments below and also share any of your experiences with this country that you may have. And now the fact of the day. Apparently, tipping is not commonplace in Angola. If you do decide to tip, However, you don't need to do it in cash. Cigarettes, for example, are allegedly an acceptable form of tipping.